I was in the Air Force uh, from January 82 to June of 92. I was diagnosed with MS in 1989, August 20th, 1989. MS varies a lot from patient to patient. One patient may have something occur once, take a long time, and then maybe have some minor something, a little numbness 10 years later. Some other patient might have very rapid progression with problems with walking, problems with vision, any wide range of symptoms. As the disease progresses, uh, people find that everyday things are more difficult to manage. It could be fatigue, um, earlier in the day, um, difficulty with balance or walking, some challenges with short-term memory or focusing and attention. I think of treating MS in a couple of different ways. One of them is the disease-modifying sure. therapies, medication to try and slow down the disease. And another big part of treating MS is treating the symptoms of MS. The VA is able to provide a number of different services to our veterans with MS. Some of the services offered are based upon their level of service connection. The level of service connection for every veteran can be different, and sometimes it, it can be a little difficult to understand. Uh, and it, it often varies and depends upon when you were in the service, how long you were in the service, was your diagnosis, uh, did it begin, your symptoms begin while you were in the service. And so to help you better understand this, we will often refer you to your veteran service officer. These are representatives that are trained and understand uh, the complexity of, of service connection and what it means for you as an individual. The good news is that we can generally find something for you to meet your needs, whether they're services within the VA or whether they're services outside of the VA in the community. Uh, through the county or through other veteran organizations. I think it's really important to have a multidisciplinary team. As we've discussed, MS is a disease that affects a wide range of functions. And I certainly, as the doctor, can't be the expert at all of these or take on all of these. A lot of what I do is work with the team with their expertise, whether it's social work or psychology or physical therapy or occupational therapy or prosthetics or urology, any of these people and sometimes others would come in to help with their specialized knowledge in managing this wide range of symptoms. Together we're able to look at um, all the parts of you that can be affected by MS and we stay in touch with each other and we're constantly communicating and trying to find ways to support each aspect of your life. At the VA Medical Center, we have the patient as the center of our team, where the other team members essentially are circling the patient, trying to offer the patient the services that are most effective for the patient. When meeting a veteran for the first time, my goal is to get acquainted with them and find out what's important to them. What do they need from, from us? What do they need from me? How can I help? have them attain and maintain the best quality of life. For many MS patients, um, energy becomes a problem. They find themselves getting tired throughout the day and they're having to make choices as to how they want to spend their energy. It's much like a budget. We all have a certain amount of money every month that has to go around and, and take care of all of our monthly expenses. And so sometimes we have to make choices that we just can't afford to do this. It's very much the same with our fatigue. We have to make choices as to what's most important. How do we want to spend our time? Do we want to spend our time cleaning house or do we want to spend time with our children at the park? Another area um, that they could work on as well is with their exposure to the heat. Um, too much heat can bring on a pseudo exacerbation for patients with MS. So it's important to use such products as like a cooling vest if you're having to be outside in the heat and also not being in direct sunlight as well and to manage that time as well because that could bring on more fatigue for the patient. Stress is also another major factor that needs to be addressed and managed for patients with MS. Also, this can increase and make their symptoms of MS worse. So you may also want to try to use um, different type of strategies or tools to reduce your level of stress. That whole thing 
of losing the mobility. It was very gradual. Um, I would worked somewhere where I was walking quite a bit and by the end of the day I was defeated. So when we talk about assistive devices there really is a very wide range. Anything from a cane, that's probably the least assistive device, all the way to a motorized wheelchair or a scooter. And then in between you might have two canes or crutches or hiking poles, so two sides, a manual wheelchair, and then to more powered devices. As the disease progresses, if it becomes necessary, we can move on to um, wheelchairs that are not like your grandfather's wheelchair. These are much smaller, much more adaptive, and much more user-friendly. And for those that uh, require even more, and we want to maintain your sense of independence and mobility, we have power scooters available, which um, are actually pretty cool nowadays. I would say VA is actually excellent at lining people up with what they need. They really do have the full range and have people go both through prosthetics and physical therapy to get assessed for what devices they need. And they may need a range of them depending on what they're doing. I think we saw with Mr. Soccer, he said at home he uses the walls and his furniture. When he walks from his house to his car, he uses a cane, but out in the community he uses a scooter. And all those things were provided by VA. I have a scooter that was supplied to me through the VA. I also have a lift in my truck, again, supplied by the VA, that helps me put the scooter in the back of the truck. In a matter of two minutes, I'm out of the garage and into the truck and go on, on to what I need to do. When I see having significant problems with their mobility, they have balance problems, they're falling, I'll often request that both physical therapy and occupational therapy go to the home and do a thorough assessment. They'll take a look at how the home is designed, the width of the doors, places they might trip, there are stairs where you can build ramps, where you could potentially put bars, either in hallways, in the bathroom, and really try to optimize the safety and accessibility of the home. I had somebody one time come out and look through the house. They made some suggestions. I followed their suggestions. Again, we're renters, so we can't make structural changes to the house. Um, hand grips are placed in the bathroom, but that's, you know. Again, that's pretty much it. When they came for the ramp, they evaluated how much of a ramp I needed and set it up. It was two weeks and um, I had the ramp set up and it makes all the difference as far as getting up and in the house. In the house, I have everything pretty much strategically placed so I can put a hand on something if, if I need. I think that MS can cause emotional issues. It really changes. It, it occurs early in life when people expect to be at their most productive and their most mobile and can take them out from employment, can really change their relationships with their family, change their income capacity, and change their ability to socialize with other people just because of the mobility or the energy demands. So it's really a big change from what people expect in their lives. It was getting difficult. Um, he could no longer walk the stores that he worked at. He had to use the scooter. He couldn't, you know, keep up with his job. He has the cognitive issues, so he wasn't remembering his stuff. He would write stuff up and down his arms, on his hands, so he'd remember, you know, what he had to get done for the day. He couldn't go out in the back and throw a truck anymore. You know, it just, it was getting really difficult. And he, he was starting to fall a lot at work. So one day he decided enough was enough and he no longer went to work. One of the most important ways that social workers can help people in coping is as you experience loss um, with different parts of your life, we, um, you help, we help identify um, what changes are happening in their role. Maybe they're not able to uh, do the things that they used to be able to do. He can no longer push the vacuum around he can no longer help out around the house. Um, he had to give up his, you know, working. We used to love to take long drives and go places, and it's, it's getting to be too much for that, too. 
Um, we used to go hiking. He can no longer go hiking. So there's been a lot of changes. As the patient with MS um, progresses with the disease, it often can affect their mental health, their relationship within their family, their husbands, their children, and other family members. I think mental health really helps people gain a perspective, gain a perspective of what they do have, and give them coping strategies. And often when it's group, I put them in touch with other people dealing with similar challenges so they don't feel so alone. I believe that what we have to offer through the VA really can make a, a big impact on the quality of life for every veteran. We have a team approach. We're able to come in and get to know you as an individual, help identify what your personal needs are for caregiving, for emotional support, uh, for physical support. We want to make your home life as comfortable and accessible for you help maintain your independence, and help you find ways to get the, the most out of life. Please don't think that this is it. You can still live a very full life with MS. Certainly I think the scooter has impacted his ability to interact with other people to get out of the home at all. He right, plays with his grandkid, has his grandkid come and stay. He couldn't do that without a scooter. Right now we have our five-year-old grandson here and we've had them all summer. His older brothers have spent summers with us in the past, so we figured this year would be his summer. He likes to go to the playground. You looked over there, turkey. Not I did. Papa sits in his scooter and reads while Zach plays on the swing. Him and Papa's been very close. He keeps Papa going, keeps him outside, takes him out, you know, to go to the park with him. Come on, you can do it. Good job. And it just keeps them active. I think that the services VA provide really allow people with MS to have the best lives they can. I think it's better to be hooked up with the VA. Well, you have the support, you have, if you need help with social services, you have social services there available to you. Um, it's just, I, I think they've been very helpful over the years. A diagnosis of MS is pretty devastating, but there's support groups, um, support through the VA that will improve your quality of life and help with everyday issues. If it wasn't for the VA, we couldn't do it. There would be no way we could do it.